This video is about a steroid kingpin who allegedly supplied aspirant sports stars around the world with millions of rands worth of illegal steroids for a decade. The guy was killed in Cape Town on the 18th of August. Now after his death, gang members suspected to have been involved were dropping like flies. Now this could have been the mastermind eliminating anything that might connect them to the crime or simply retaliation from rival gangs. Now Brian Weinstein, aka the steroid kingpin, was running a profitable business with links to international syndicates. You see Brian was originally from Ireland. He had a history of confirmed and alleged crimes in his home country. Now in 2007, the Irish Times reported that he had illegally distributed bodybuilding steroids worldwide from Dublin and was sentenced to 4 months in jail. Aside from links to Ireland, Weinstein was wanted in Cyprus as well and was named in Canadian court papers as a member of a sophisticated steroid trafficking enterprise. You see, these are level 5 drugs which are often taken by athletes orally or by injection to increase their muscle mass. They are used to bulk up or to improve sporting performance. You see, unless they are prescribed under a guidance of a medical doctor to treat a relevant medical condition, it is illegal and often dangerous to use such products. You see, Brian obtained steroids from China and shipped them to Canada and other parts of the world where he had connect. And at the same time, he was fighting extradition to the USA, where he was suspected of dealing in millions of rands worth of steroids. Now, in 2016 in Cape Town, the police snapped Brian for alleged possession of uncut diamonds. Now his alleged steroid business in South Africa appeared to pose a threat to the underworld scene. Now the state contends that on the 29th of June 2017, a meeting of illegal steroid dealers was organized at a gang boss's home in Cape Town. Now the dealers complained that Brian was a threat to them and their business. Now a plot to murder Weinstein allegedly took shape three months before it happened. Now, Brian Weinstein was shot dead in his upmarket home in Constantia, Cape Town, on the 18th of August 2017. Now, the gunman entered his home and fired five bullets, taking him out while he was sleeping. His girlfriend and child were sleeping next to him at the time. Now, a neighbor said she heard what sounded like three gunshots after hearing noises like doors banging after midnight. Now the state claims that Weinstein's murder was financed by alleged Cape Town underworld gang bosses and they benefited from the illegal steroid business which continued after Weinstein's death, allegedly. Now originally there were 16 suspects in this case. Now not long after Brian's murder, suspects linked to the hit started getting killed. First, there were three gang members who were shot and killed and the alleged trigger man was part of the first group that was executed. Now after those hits, accused number 8 died in a hail of bullets on the corner of Prince George Drive and Peach Street in the Cape Flat suburbs of Retreat. Now according to the police, the victim and others were on their way back to Greyfontein after visiting an inmate in Polsmo prison. Now the shooting was an organized hit and police picked up more than 20 cartridges at the scene. On the 2nd of Feb 2021, Another suspect was shot dead in front of his home in Greyfontein. He was also standing trial for Weinstein's murder, followed by another gang member who was gunned down in Mitchell's play in March 2021. You see, this whole thing was reading like a movie script, I'm telling you. Now, the ones who survived, three other suspects in Weinstein's case were serving time. Another gang member took a plea deal with the state in December of 2018 and was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Now the driver in Weinstein's murder entered a plea agreement as well and was jailed for 25 years. Now the two alleged gang bosses are still on trial for this case. You see doing hits is a dangerous business but the ones in more danger are the hitmen because of their link between the crime and the source. And the mastermind's problem is the extortion from the hitman after the job is done because whenever the guy needs money, he comes to you. Or simply snitching on you whenever he gets jammed. Basically, you are his free ticket out of jail. Now, most times, whenever there's a high-profile hit and the people are not arrested immediately, 
there's gonna be more heads to follow to cover the crime.